Hi, I'm Carrie Kaufman, and I'm going to show you how to get a more involved and engaged team and reduce the amount of interruptions that they have for you. And the key is in how to run an effective and productive team meeting. You want to know why your team is constantly interrupting you? It's because being reactive is the only thing they know. So one of the ways to change this is by creating a company culture that is proactive instead of reactive. And one of the keys to doing that is to having a consistent team meeting. And by consistent, in most cases, I mean weekly. Although if your company is larger, maybe you'll meet in subgroups or departments on a weekly basis and everybody can come together on a monthly or quarterly basis. But having a regular team meeting allows them to be proactive and it creates a culture of accountability. So this is going to reduce those gotta minutes that happen when your team is reacting and having to go find you to help you solve their problems. So I'm going to give you three tips for how to run a productive and efficient team meeting. And I learned them from my friend, Vanilla Ice. Stop, collaborate, and listen, okay? So by stop, I mean, first things first, schedule the team meeting into your calendar on a regular basis and don't cancel it. I see that happen far too often. Something comes up, I'm too busy, there's been an emergency, right? And you're in reactive mode, which is what? Training your team to be in reactive mode as well. So you have to treat your team like your number one client if you want them to take care of your number one client. So schedule the team meetings in, stop, make the time to invest in your team and they'll take care of your clients and your clients will take care of you. The second tip is collaborate. And by that I mean have an agenda. And I've actually included a sample agenda on this page. Feel free to download that and you can adapt it to fit your own company. But there's a few things that the team meeting is not for. Okay, this is not your opportunity to just talk, 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 say everything that needs to be said, um, you know, rant on whatever you need to rant about. This is also not their opportunity to get those 10 or 20 minutes of your time that they've been seeking after. Um, take those things offline, but here's a few things that should be in your team agenda. First and foremost, um, inspiration. A little bit of a uh, uh, reminder on your vision on goals, both current goals, short-term goals that you or the company are working on, uh, individual departments are working on, as well as a, a reminder of long-term goals that you're working towards. So a little bit of inspiration. Second, include some celebration. Kudos, peer-to-peer uh, -peer kudos or, or from yourself. A celebration about a goal that's been achieved, whether it was from an individual, a department, or a company as a whole. Um, but a little bit of time for having fun, so you're starting off the team meeting on a really positive note. Next, you can go into what's happening next, what's on the agenda right now, what are people working on, what projects are in play, and what are the next steps. Be very clear so that everybody there leaves with their action steps for the week. You can also identify places where they might be stuck or where they might need additional resources or support. Uh, be careful not to tackle all of that in your team meeting because if the team meeting turns into a two or three hour ordeal, you're more likely to cancel it the next time because who has time for that, right? So if you can answer questions quickly, answer them on the spot. If it's something that needs to take longer than like a five minute conversation on any one particular issue, schedule a separate time for that and handle it offline. Then at the following meeting, every meeting thereafter, you can include a little bit of time to update on what happened since the previous meeting. So this is where the accountability comes into play to make sure that everybody's being held accountable to their role in the company. So we've talked about stop, we've talked about collaborate, and lastly, listen. Your team is hungry for you. They value your time, they value your expertise, your input that you have for them, even accountability, believe it or not. Your team needs to spend more time with you in a proactive way rather than having, having to always hunt you down to get their answers the got a minute style. So take this opportunity to be the thermostat in your business and not the thermometer. Right? The thermometer just reads the temperature. It, it's a reflection of what's going on around. So when your mood is a reflection of what is or isn't working in the business or how things are going, you're being a, ther a thermometer. But when you have a productive and efficient team meeting, you take that opportunity to set the temperature, to set the tone, to create the culture that you want in your business. And that is worth taking the time to stop and collaborate and listen for. So I hope that helps you to have a productive and efficient team meeting and also to get rid of some of the interruptions that you're getting right now. Um, so leave me a comment below. Let me know if this video helped you, what you liked most about it, or if you've got your own tips for running an effective team meeting, I'd love to hear that too. Thanks and have a great day.